This is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 14230 Southwest Ollie By Street here in Beaverton. I'm not sure if this is going to stay on the same video link. I accidentally stopped the video here uh, where, where the camera hung up at. We're 24 feet out in case this is a new link. We're doing an inspection of the sewer line, checking the overall condition and serviceability. Uh, we're 24 feet out right now. We access the line through the vent and right here the cameras come to a stop. There's a huge root ball right here. The camera can't get past and basically all the line up to this point literally from the bottom of the vent has root intrusions in it. So we're going to get it all mapped out here from 24 feet back to as far as I can go. I'll mention the depth and location of this portion of the line uh, when I get it back up. All right, I located the camera head successfully. I'm going to back it up here a little bit just to do a double check on the locate. Right now, the line is sitting directly beneath the fireplace at the back of the house. So it does appear that they have built an addition over the top of this old line, unfortunately. I've got a blue painter's tape X on the fireplace here. I'm going to do our locate right here at 18 feet. All right, we are underneath the, uh, it's the rear living room area, kind of off the kitchen. I'm putting blue painter's tape down on the floor there. We're almost four feet deep on the living room floor there. Now, in my, my markings, my last one underneath the fireplace, keep in mind that that's not going to be accurate. I'm locating down through a whole bunch of brick. So my, my marking there seems to be kind of off center from where I was just locating at, but I'm going to do another uh, locate here at about 12 feet. All right, making our way across the living room floor here. We've got about three painter's tape marks down on the floor, or two on the floor, one on the fireplace. Again, the fireplace one, if you have to dig this up, you're going to have to work your way towards it. It's not an easy spot to locate, so consider that rough. I'd start on the floor markings. We're about three feet, six inches deep there at about 12 feet out and about four feet deep as you get closer to the fireplace, around 22 feet. Now, what I would look into is whether or not you could actually abandon this line and try and reroute this sucker and try and go out the front. Um, is it's quite the project to get this thing done. It's, it's all under slab concrete. Um, and it's going to the rear. So if there's a main out front, you might be able to just reconfigure and head out the front. And hopefully, you'd have to check in the codes and everything to see whether you could abandon what's there currently so you don't have to tear it up. But it is in very rough shape, and obviously, to a certain extent, it just opened up to the ground. You've got a whole bunch of roots coming into it. We have roots right here immediately. I'm going to try and locate this spot. There's a portion of this I doubt I'm going to be able to get to. I'll try and put a marking here. It's going to start going underneath fixtures and stuff in the house. Actually, this might stay exposed. It's kind of turning, heading towards the uh, addition bathroom. I'll do my final locate right here. I think once this turns here, it's going to be a lot trickier to, to hunt it down. But I'll put at least my last marking right here just before the plastic ends. Right, quite a bit shallower there, about two and a half feet deep. All right, this will be my final locator right here. All right, right here as the line passes into the kind of the bathroom area on the addition. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the camera on out of here recommend contacting a plumber find out the best way to mitigate this issue here if you end up bringing a new line in from the front which I think may be your your cheapest best bet there um, if you're going going through that effort I would I would just update what plumbing is in that crawl space there to plastic from cast iron uh, just to get it all done at once then it's fully updated and you'll have to worry about it again uh, but if uh, we haven't even seen the exterior of the line yet I have a feeling it probably looks just like what we just scoped there so anyway, I recommend a full replacement of that main line down there, and it would be a great time to just replace all of the other auxiliary lines at the same time if you end up, especially if you bring a new line in from the front or something like that.